Ever since I was a child, I have had this instinctive urge for expansion and growth. To me, the function and duty of a quality human being is the sincere and honest development of one's potential. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. I am learning to understand rather than immediately judge or be judged. I cannot blindly follow the crowd and accept their approach. I will not allow myself to indulge in the usual manipulating game of role creation. Fortunately for me, my self-knowledge has transcended that, and I have come to understand that life is best to be lived and not to be conceptualized. I am happy because I am growing daily, and I am honestly not knowing where the limit lies. To be certain, every day there can be a revelation or a new discovery. I treasure the memory of the past misfortunes. It has added more to my bank of fortitude. If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Make at least one definite move daily towards your goal. To know oneself is to study oneself in action with another person. A goal is not always meant to be reached. It often serves simply as something to aim at. Love is like a friendship caught on fire. In the beginning, a flame, very pretty, often hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. As love grows older, our hearts mature and our love becomes as coals, deep burning and unquenchable. Be like water, making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object, and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Never waste energy on worries or negative thoughts. All problems are brought into existence. Drop them. Absorb what is useful. Discard what is not. Add what is uniquely your own. Showing off is the fool's idea of glory. A wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. The possession of anything begins in the mind. I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations and you're not in this world to live up to mine.
If you always put a limit on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. As you think, you shall become. Always be yourself. Express yourself. Have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. Choose the positive. You have choice. You are the master of your attitude. Choose the positive, the constructive. Optimism is a faith that leads to success. If there is a God, it is within. You don't ask God to give you things. You depend on God for your inner theme. If you don't want to slip up tomorrow, speak the truth today. A good teacher protects his pupils from his own influence. Knowledge will give you power, but character gives you respect. Defeat is not defeat unless accepted as a reality in your own mind. Man, the living creature, the creating individual, is always more important than any established style or system. Obey the principles without being bound by them. It's not what you give, it's the way you give it. A quick temper will make a fool of you soon enough. Empty your cup so that it may be filled. Become devoid to gain totality. If you want to learn to swim, jump into the water. On dry land, no frame of mind is ever going to help you. Know the difference between a catastrophe and an inconvenience. To realize that it's just an inconvenience, that is not a catastrophe, but just an unpleasantness. It's part of coming into your own, part of waking up. The moment is freedom. I couldn't live by a rigid schedule. I try to live freely from moment to moment, letting things happen and adjusting to them. For it is easy to criticize and break down the spirit of others, but to know yourself takes a lifetime. Take no thought of who is right or wrong, or who is better than. Be not for or against. To spend time is to pass it in a specific manner. To waste time is to expend it thoughtlessly or carelessly. We all have time to either spend or waste, and it's our decision what to do with it. But once passed, it is gone forever. The less effort, the faster and more powerful you will be. Self-knowledge involves relationship. Relationship is a process of self-evaluation and self-revelation. Relationship is the mirror in which you discover yourself. To be is to be related.
Life is your teacher, and you are in a state of constant learning. Life is never stagnation. It is constant movement, unrhythmic movement, as we constantly change. Things live by moving and gain strength as they go. I wish neither to possess nor to be possessed. I no longer covet paradise. More important, I no longer fear hell. The medicine for my suffering I had within me from the very beginning, but I did not take it. My ailment came from within myself, but I did not observe it until this moment. Now I see that I will never find the light unless, like the candle, I am my own fuel consuming myself. Art calls for complete mastery of techniques developed by reflection within the soul. The doubter said, man cannot fly. The doer said, maybe, but we'll try. And finally soared in the morning glow while non-believers watched from below. Reality is apparent when one ceases to compare. There is what is only when there is no comparison at all. And to live with what is, is to be peaceful. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. The key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. Notice that the stiffest tree is the most easily cracked, while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. To hell with circumstances, I create opportunities. Take things as they are. Punch when you have to punch. Kick when you have to kick. It's not the daily increase, but daily decrease. Hack away at the unessential. Many people dedicate their lives to actualizing a concept of what they should be like, rather than actualizing themselves. This difference between self-actualization and self-image actualization is very important. Most people live only for their image. Use only that which works and take it from any place you can find it. Boards don't hit back. The stillness in stillness is not the real stillness. Only when there is stillness in movement does the universal rhythm manifest. If you think a thing is impossible, you'll only make it impossible. Everything you do, if not in a relaxed state, will be done to a lesser level than you're proficient. Thus, the tensed expert marksman will aim at a level less than his or her student. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. When one has reached maturity in the art, one will have a formless form. It is like ice dissolving in water. When one has no form, 
one can be all forms. When one has no style, he can fit within any style. The athlete who is building muscles through weight training should be very sure to work adequately on speed and flexibility at the same time. In combat, without the prior attributes, a strong man will be like the bull with its colossal strength futilely pushing a matador or like a low-geared truck chasing a rabbit. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. What you habitually think largely determines what you ultimately become. All fixed set patterns are incapable of adaptability or pliability. The truth is outside all fixed patterns. Simplicity is the key to brilliance. Life is wide, limitless. There is no border, no frontier. The spirit of the individual is determined by his dominating thought habits. To me, the extraordinary aspect of martial arts lies in its simplicity. The easy way is also the right way, and martial arts is nothing at all special. The closer to the true way of martial arts, the less wastage of expression there is. The knowledge and skills you have achieved are meant to be forgotten so that you can float comfortably in emptiness without obstruction. In order to taste my cup of water, you must first empty your cup. Fear comes from uncertainty. We can eliminate fear within us when we know ourselves better. As the great Sun Tzu said, when you know yourself and your opponent, you will win every time. When you know yourself but not your opponent, you will win one and lose one. However, when you do not know yourself or your opponent, you will be imperiled every time. Do not fear failure. Not failure, but low aim is the crime. In great attempts, it is glorious even to fail. In the middle of chaos lies opportunity. Do not be tense, just be ready. Not thinking, but not dreaming. Not being set, but being flexible. It is being wholly and quietly alive, aware and alert, ready for whatever may come. Be self-aware rather than a repetitious robot. Using no way as a way, having no limitation as limitation. I am not teaching you anything. I just help you to explore yourself. Time means a lot to me, because you see I am also a learner, and most often lost in the joy of forever developing. After all, all knowledge simply means self-knowledge.
Real living is living for others. The great mistake is to anticipate the outcome of the engagement. You ought not to be thinking of whether it ends in victory or defeat. Let nature take its course, and your tools will strike at the right moment. Those who are unaware they are walking in darkness will never see the light. Forget about winning and losing. Forget about pride and pain. Let your opponent graze your skin and you smash into his flesh. Let him smash into your flesh and you fracture his bones. Let him fracture your bones and you take his life. Do not be concerned with escaping safely. Lay your life before him. The world is full of people who are determined to be somebody or to give trouble. They want to get ahead to stand out. Such ambition has no use for a Kung Fu man who rejects all forms of self-assertiveness and competition. If you love life, don't waste time, for time is what life is made up of. Because one does not want to be disturbed, to be made uncertain, he establishes a pattern of conduct, of thought, a pattern of relationship to others, etc. Then he becomes a slave to the pattern and takes the pattern to be the real thing. Do not deny the classical approach simply as a reaction, or you will have created another pattern and trapped yourself there. A fight is not won by one punch or kick. Either learn to endure or hire a bodyguard. The word superstar is an illusion. But neither can you condemn nor justify and yet be extraordinarily as alive as you walk on. You can never invite the wind, but you must leave the window open. Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Defeat is a state of mind. Learning is never cumulative. It is a movement of knowing which has no beginning and no end. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. The consciousness of self is the greatest hindrance to the proper execution of all physical action. What is, is more important than what should be. Too many people are looking at what is from a position of thinking what it should be. One should be in harmony with, not in opposition to, the strength and force of opposition. This means that one should do nothing that is not natural or spontaneous. The important thing is not to strain in any way. Do not allow negative thoughts to enter your mind for they are weeds that strangle confidence. Remember, no man is really defeated unless he is discouraged. Only the self-sufficient stand alone. Most people follow the crowd and imitate. It is not a shame to be knocked down in a fight. The most important thing to ask when you're being knocked down is, why am I being knocked down? If a person can reflect in this way, 
then there is hope for this person. The meaning of life is that it is to be lived and not to be traded and conceptualized and squeezed into a pattern of systems. <laughs>